Hi, my name is Christian and this is the first one of a series of videos about Soulfish and music theory. I have seen in many groups and for also musicians that there are people that want to learn how to read and how to write scores. And to know Soulfish and music theory is exactly that, because music theory is what teaches us how to read and how to write scores, or more exactly, how to read and how to write music. So that's why I'm going to be doing this series of videos. It should be noted that the purpose of these videos is to share information. So if you see that in any video something was not clear, feel free to leave your question in the comment section. Or if you like, you can send my message to my Facebook page. I leave the link in the description of the video. And um, before I start, I invite you to subscribe because it will help me a lot and at the same time it is useful. So when a new video comes out, you will get a notification. So let's start. Speaking about Soulfish is talking about music theory, which as I mentioned before is what teaches us how to read and how to write music. Soulfish is divided into parts. The written or theoretical, which teaches us all the rules and symbols that are used to write music, and the song or practical, which are exercises when you put into practice everything learned by interpreting the exercise with our own voice or with any instrument. We are going to be focusing more on the theoretical part, but I will also be placing small exercises after each explanation, so that we can verify that we are actually learning and understanding everything that I am explaining, as well as I will explain the topics in a certain order that will make us understand the simple things before moving on to the complex ones. So when we get to the last video, we will have everything that we will need to play any music score that we may come across and also to write our own music, so there's that. So yep, let's continue. Music is the art of sounds. Music is a universal language, so music can be read and written as easily as we write everything that we talk. To be able to read and write music, we have to know the laws and the signs that are used to write it. And the study of all that is precisely music theory or solfish. In these first videos, we will focus mostly on the signs that are used to write music, which are probably the notes, the keys, the silences, and the alterations. Um, for this first video, we'll talk about the first element, which is the staff or the stave. The staff is a pattern of five parallel horizontal lines, which are equidistant from each other and four spaces that go between those lines. So we got five lines and four spaces. And both the lines and the spaces are counted from bottom to top. And it is in these lines and in these spaces where all the signs that are used by music will be placed. Later I will talk about where the stuff come from and for a moment to make this video short this will be the end of the first lesson. As for exercise, I invite you to take a blank page and draw several staves, naming each line and each space. Or if you prefer, I invite you to download a staff sheet that I leave on my page and do the naming there. And not be more, I wish you all have a very good day. Until next time.